Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to go over how to draw on our window in Pygame. So in the previous video, we did the setup where we created a window. We added an event handler for quitting by pressing the X button on the window. And we have a game loop and this game loop runs 60 frames per second. So if I save and run the program, this is what we have so far. So we have a blank window. Now let's draw something on the window. And for this video, we're just going to draw some rectangles instead of images. That'll be for a later video. So we're just going to go over the basics of drawing. So let's start with the background. So I can do window.fill. And here I can specify any color. In this case, I can write it as a string. So I can do blue. And there's a list of colors that you can use with strings for this parameter. So if I save and run the program, you can see the background color of the window is blue. Now, if I did not have this display.update and I comment it out and I save and run the program, you can see the background color is black again. And that is because we do not update the display to fill the background with the blue color. So we need this line to draw on our screen. Now, when we're drawing, we could add all of our drawing code over here but it is much better if we separate the code into another function. So over here, I will create a function called draw. And I'm just going to take this and paste in here. And let's get rid of this. And here, I'm just going to call the draw function. All right, now if I save and run the program, we have a blue background. So our frame rate is 60 frames per second. So this draw function is being called 60 times. And if there's a color that you want to use that is not listed, you can use the hex value or the RGB values. So let me show you an example. So if you go on Google and search for Google color picker, you can find this color picker over here and you can move it around like so and slide this around. And we can take this hex value. So click on this copy button or you can just highlight and copy and we can paste it here inside a string. So now if I save and run a program, you can see we get this green color over here. And alternatively, I can take the RGB value. So I can copy and paste this. And let's comment this out. And I'll do window.fill. And if you use the RGB value, you need a tuple of three values. So let's save and run the program. And you can see we get the same exact color as before. And for our tutorial, I'm just going to do window.fill. And the color I want is a specific blue color. So we're going to do 20, 18, and 167. So I'm going to use RGB, which stands for red, green, blue. So 20 for red, 18 for green, and 167 for blue. Now let's save and run the program. And you can see we have a dark blue background for our window. All right, so that's how you can fill the background color of your window. And you can do so with the name of the color as a string, or you can have the hex value as a string, or you can have the RGB value as a tuple. Now let's go over how to draw something on the window. All right, so here's my window. And let's say I want to draw a rectangle. So if you remember from math class, if we had a coordinate system, the origin would be at the center, and this would be 0, 0. And here would be positive y. Down here is negative y. Then we have positive x and negative x. So if I want, let's say 500, 500, you would move 500 to the right and 500 up. So 500, 500 will be over here. And sometimes you don't have this full four quadrant system. Sometimes you just have only positive numbers. In that case, we only have this quadrant over here. So instead of the origin being in the middle, it would be on the bottom left. So this is the coordinate system that we're familiar with. But when we're working with graphics on the screen, the coordinate system is actually different. So instead of the origin starting in the middle or on the bottom left, the origin actually starts on the top left corner, 0, 0. And let's say our window has a width of 512 and a height of 512. What would be the coordinate of this bottom left corner over here? This would be 0 for x and 512 for y. So when we go down from 0 to 512, we are going to the positive direction. And going up is the negative direction. And this contrasts with what we learned in math class, where going up is positive and going down is negative. And this corner over here is 512, 0. So similarly, if we go to the right, we are going towards positive x. And going to the left is negative x. 
and this corner is 512, 512. Okay, so just remember with the coordinate system on the screen, origin is at the top left. Now, how would I draw a rectangle? First, I need to specify the X and Y position of the rectangle. So let's say I want it at 150, 150. I would go to the right, 150, and then go down 150. So the coordinate would be over here. And this would be the top left corner of our rectangle. So I specify the X and Y position. Now I need to specify the width and height. So let's say I want the width and height to be 50 pixels and 50 pixels. So the width would be 50 and the height would be 50. Then we would draw our rectangle over here. So when we draw a rectangle, we need the X and Y position, which is the starting point, the top left of the rectangle, and how wide and how tall we want the rectangle to be. So the width and height. And probably the reason why we do it this way is because with the screen, we use it to read text. And with the Western languages like English, we start from the very top left and we go from left to right. And the same applies for if you were to draw a rectangle, you would start drawing from this corner of the rectangle and then down like so. And when you color in the rectangle, you start from this corner usually and you go like this. So let's draw this rectangle on our screen. So to draw a rectangle, we need to specify X and Y positions and the width and height. And normally I would create a class to represent a rectangle with the X and Y position and the width and height, but Pygame provides us with a rectangle class. So I can create a player variable and I'm going to assign it pygame.rec. And here we need to specify x, y, width, and height. So 150 pixels to the right of the origin, 150 pixels down from the origin, and then 50 pixels for the width and 50 pixels for the height. And then now we need to draw the player. So here I can do pygame.draw.rec. And we need to specify three parameters. So the first one is where we are drawing. And in this case, we are drawing on our window. And then we need to specify the color. So here I will use a tuple for RGB values. So let's do 2, 239, and 238. And then finally, we need to specify the coordinates of the rectangle. So x, y, width, and height. Or you can specify a rectangle if you already have a rectangle object like we do over here. So here I'm going to pass in player. All right, now let's save and run the program. And you can see we have a rectangle over here. So the origin is 0, 0 at the top left. The X position is 150 to the right. The Y position is 150 down, which gives us the point over here on the top left side of the square. And then the width is 50 pixels and the height is 50 pixels. And you can play around with the numbers. So if I change this to 200, so this is going to move towards the right and I can make the width longer. So let's make it 150. If I save and run the program, you can see from the top left, we move 200 to the right. So X is 200 and we move 150 down. So Y is 150. Then the width is 150 and the height is 50. Okay. So that's the basics of drawing and adding colors to our window. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use keyboard presses to move the player around the screen. All right. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure you give this video a like. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date for more Python game programming tutorials like this one, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.